uh, first of all, let me just uh, welcome everybody to the Arizona State University Tempe campus. Uh, we are sitting right to the northeast of our multi-purpose arena that's under construction. We'll be done in uh, October. Uh, but also, in a larger sense, we're also in the middle of our Novus Innovation Corridor. So our innovation corridors, Novus specifically in this case, which is Latin for new, are places where we bring uh, business and the public together with the university to collaborate around our knowledge assets. So the arena is going to sit right along uh, the uh, Novus Place Street that we're building that's going to run all the way uh, from University Drive all the way up almost to Rio Salado. So uh, it's going to be a fantastic place for the arena. We're extremely excited, obviously, about this venue opening. Uh, we've had an NCAA Division I men's ice hockey team for six seasons now. We've already made the NCAA playoffs twice during that six years. This year we have two players up uh, in the running for the Hobie Baker Award, which is given the most outstanding player in college hockey annually. Uh, we have uh, two uh, players who are in the top ten in terms of uh, scoring statistics for the year. We have the top scoring freshman in the country this year, uh, a fellow by the name of Josh Doan, who has a relationship to somebody else that is uh, kind of coyote-like as, as, as well. So uh, this was just sort of a natural for us. Our uh, plan all along with Novus and with the multi-purpose arena was to bring additional things into the university, community events, shows, concerts, etc. And so now we have this opportunity to uh, uh, work with the Coyotes as a, a major tenant for the next couple of years, which is very exciting to us. But I do, somewhere around here is uh, Ray Anderson, our Vice President for University of Athletics. Wave over there, Ray. So. Yeah, mo most of you sports folks know, know Ray real well. Uh, Ray is the guy who brought to Dr. Crow and the university administration the idea of having men's division one ice hockey. So I grew up in North Dakota where hockey is everything. And never in my wildest dreams as I moved around in my higher education administration career and ended up here about 13 years ago, did I think we were gonna have division one ice hockey here. Now we do. So tremendously exciting, uh, my colleague, uh, Frank Ferrara is also here someplace. Where is he? There he is. So Frank uh, is the CFO for the athletics department and in his spare time, not that he has any, also is to be the sports administrator for the Sun Devils ice hockey team. So Frank and I have lots of things to talk about all the time. Uh, we're working very closely together on the MPA. I think you just saw what it looks like. It's going to be an incredible facility and now we have even more great content to share with everyone in the valley. So Javier, uh, welcome, and it's be fantastic uh, working with you the next couple of years. Thank you, Morgan. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So very exciting day for us as an organization. First and foremost, I really want to thank uh, on behalf of Alex Morello, the ownership, the leadership, the entire organization. Want to thank Morgan. Want to thank Dr. Crow, uh, everyone at ASU, Ray Anderson, Frank Ferreira. Uh, everyone who was behind this from ASU to make this happen. Also want to give a special thanks to the Oakview Group, which is the manager of the, of the multi-purpose arena. They have been incredible to work with. They, we would not be here without them and their help. And uh, again, just want to be very thankful of everyone who was behind this uh, opportunity. Obviously, incredible opportunity for us as an organization to be in a brand new facility, state of the art, and here in the heart of Tempe, uh, next to, what is it, 80,000 students at this point? That's about right. Incredible uh, amount of, of energy, of innovation, and of really, you know, top of, of, of mind thought leadership that is happening here on this campus. And we were excited to be a part of it. Um, we absolutely believe this is going to be the best experience in all of the NHL. It is going to be in not only in a state-of-the-art new facility, but it's going to be intimate. The sight lines are going to be incredible. It's going to be loud. It's going to be packed. This is the experience that we know our fans, our partners, our players, everyone associated with the Coyotes are absolutely going to be excited to be a part of and be very proud. And so again, really happy, very honored, very excited uh, for this day. We look forward to the completion of uh, the addition. Uh, to be done in the fall uh, and to, for us to start our our season here at ASU. So thank you again, Morgan. Could not have done it without you. Really appreciate this and we are very excited to be part here of this innovation campus uh, and part of ASU. Anyone else any questions? Anybody else? No. 
was the key f to, for this becoming a reality? I think the key started with uh, the great support from everyone at ASU, uh, from Dr. Crow on down, Morgan, the athletic facility, I mean athletic department, and the OV group. Um, we approached them. Uh, we obviously thought that we were going to be able to, to come to an agreement with the city of Glendale for an extension. When that didn't become uh, you know, real and, and a possibility, we came back to the folks at ASU and uh, they, they were wonderful. It really, it's a credit to them uh, that uh, they allowed us uh, this opportunity. Uh, clearly it's also a, a very large investment uh, that we are making to ensure that there is no financial risk uh, that ASU is going to bear. We're, we want to take all that on and we're willing to put uh, our investment uh, on the table to do so. That's not allowed. Javier, <laughs> can you speak to the additions that are going to be needed to this building to make it Coyotes ready? Sure, the very first conversations we had were with the NHL to ensure that this met the standards of the NHL uh, when it came to locker room facilities, medical facilities, uh, ensuring that we have everything like x-ray uh, rooms, uh, as well as uh, the facilities that we need for media, for NHL officials, for the, uh, the game officials, and so everything that goes into having game day operations at the NHL standards, we wanted to make that investment. In addition, and Morgan can certainly speak to that. There's clear uh, NCAA rules as to the ability of a professional team to be in facilities utilized by uh, NCAA um, uh, teams. And so we wanted to ensure that there was that uh, required re uh, separation that was necessary. Beyond just the facility itself, what does being in the East Valley do for the Coyotes? Well, we're excited to really be here because, uh, you know, we know that this is a central location to all of our partners, our community partners, our corporate partners, uh, the fan base, but also the fans in waiting. When you think about the growth in Maricopa County, when you think about the East Valley going further south, going further east, uh, it gives us an opportunity to really tap into uh, that incredible growth. And so we're really excited about that. We're also really excited to be in particular here associated with an enterprise like ASU that is about innovation. It is about growth. It is about really being uh, best in class. And so we're, we're really excited about that. How long before you know um, more about a permanent facility in Tempe? You can look at one of them up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> um, you know, obviously it's a process that we're not in charge of. Uh, the city of Tempe uh, issued an RFP. We were the sole respondent. Uh, we have had a number of conversations back and forth with the procurement office uh, and with the city staff per the regulations of the Arizona State uh, procurement laws. Um, and so for us, we are very excited about the proposal that we put forth. It is a privately financed sports and entertainment district anchored by our arena that will include our practice facility, hotel, uh, we're looking at building the, the, the Rodeo Drive of retail here in Arizona. And so we're, we believe it's a transformative and iconic project that would truly, truly cap off the growth and the development that's going on here in, uh, in the Valley. And so for us, we feel very confident that we've put forth a proposal, again, in which we will be taking on the financial risk, in which we will be making the investment and making it a privately financed uh, development. And so we're excited about the next step. We're not in charge of it. And uh, we are hopeful, very hopeful that the city of Tempe uh, will make a decision on, uh, to move forward in terms of the next step. To deal with ASU, do you think maybe help with that next step? Well, clear them being a big, a good uh, neighbor here. Well, they're obviously the footprint that they have here in the city of Tempe speaks for itself. They've been an incredible uh, you know, partner. They've been an incredible investor. They've been, they've been an incredible presence driving the growth uh, and the innovation for the city of Tempe. And so clearly that, that will play into, we hope, uh, showing that we're very committed to being in the Valley. We're very committed to creating uh, partnerships in which we take on the uh, financial risk and that we really want to see uh, something transformative and something iconic here and so we're excited about that we do believe that that speaks to what we have proposed as far as our uh, sports and entertainment district 
What's the NHL response been to the fact you're going to be playing in a 5,000 seat arena? Well, you guys heard directly from Commissioner Bettman during the All-Star Game uh, that this uh, this is clearly first and foremost a temporary uh, solution. We have very strong faith that what we've proposed as a permanent solution will uh, come to fruition. Uh, but the support is there. You heard uh, Commissioner Bettman uh, again express support not only for this solution but for the fact that hockey belongs here in the desert. This is a hockey town and we've said this over and over again. What we have tried to figure out is what is the best arena solution in order to tap into the fan base and to the fans in waiting that we know are here in the valley. And so we believe that the reaction has been very supportive from the league office. Commissioner Bettman uh, you know, and Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly have been in constant communication with us throughout this process. Uh, we've kept them abreast. Uh, they know the Oakview Group folks uh, very well. Peter Luco, who leads the facilities uh, arm of the Oakview Group, was uh, has been a longtime executive in hockey, and so he has clearly a, a wealth of knowledge and a lot of credibility within the league office. And when he says that this is possible, they definitely listen to him, and I think that was also part of what happened here in terms of having a partner that knows what they're doing. They just completed the Kraken uh, facility. They just completed the UBS arena in, uh, for the Islanders in Long Island, and so it's clearly a group that knows what they're doing. And when we approached them, um, they were excited, and they were the ones who really really pointed out they believe this is going to be the best environment in all of the NHL. I talked to a lot of youth hockey leagues and they were saying how cool it is that they might be able to play on the same ice as the Coyotes. Uh, any just thought for kid hockey players out there that are hearing this news today? I think it's an incredible day for them um, and, for, and for everyone here in the community. When we bought the team, when Alex bought the team in July of 2019, when I joined uh, shortly thereafter, we said that we wanted to really leverage the power of sports to make a difference in people's lives. And it starts at the youth level to be able to provide them the opportunities to get, a, get involved with the sport, to be involved with hockey, uh, as fans, as, as engagement you know, online with our content, with our merchandise, and clearly as players, we have always put that at the core of what we want to do, which is make an impact and really bring in fans, fans in waiting, um, and it starts at the, at the youth level. So it's going to be an incredible experience for them to not just play on the same ice, but also see these players up close, up front, in this intimate setting that's going to be an incredible environment.